Ah, it's finally 2021, you know what that means. New content for your favorite dude. However, instead of going into a commentary on YouTube drama like with Antunes and Turkey Tom, and recently with Call Me Carson, which I'll probably not talk about until he makes a response, I decided that I wanted to bring back an old series of where I talk about the success of different YouTube creators. And that's what I'll be heading on to. Today we'll be discussing about the talented Hong Kong animator behind Ugg, but I guess you're my little park champ, Pear Brother. Pear joined YouTube on April 11, 2012, where he posted his first video on May 18, 2014, titled Scott's Epic Bitch Slap, inspired by the popular multiplayer game Team Fortress 2. However, he took a long break from YouTube for 4 years until he will return back to YouTube on September 10, 2018 with another upload. However, this doesn't mean that he wasn't active on the, in the internet, as he has been posting his artwork through Newgrounds, an online social media sharing platform that has been around for, on the internet for over, over 20 years, where he goes by the ending of Infested Pale, in which he joined the platform on February 27, 2014. Looking through his progress as an illustrator throughout the years, he clearly has a lot of talent on his belt, and we can see his progression to his iconic art style that will be unique to Pale. What makes his art style so unique from any other illustrator is from the way he draws up his characters, mostly his female characters. With their oval and circular face, with the, how he draws the, his character's eyes this big and bold and the first thing we look at. And with his recent work in 2020, he started to adapt the more rougher sketch style, which I wouldn't say is a bad thing because I really think it works really well for him and gives off his own identity. Fast forward to 2020, and it was definitely the year that he blew up. Not only because of his animation, which I will get into later, but also his illustrations as they were getting a lot more attraction, including when he reimagined uh, Drapina and old Incident Me from the early 2000s as a much harder character, which gained much attention due to his way of drawing her that attracted a lot of people. And you may know why that attracted a lot of people. In total for his illustrations, he has created 96 drawings, way more than any other drawings that he made in any of those years, consists of, but they mostly consist of um, girl characters. Which, yeah, I mean, hey, these are really incredible work that he has done, and it makes me feel more <laughs> attracted to them because of the way how Pear has drawn them, and they come out as very cute from these characters. However, this is, this is, there is another reason why he has gotten so big on YouTube and on his social media accounts. But before I continue, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new content. It's free, and you can also unsubscribe. Now let's continue. Pear gained the majority of his success from one one of November's best memes, called Ugh, Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. In which it shows Riku, I hope I pronounced that right, from the studio trigger anime Kill la Kill, and was voice acted by Garth Mia on Twitter. This gained so much attraction on Twitter and on YouTube because the video wasn't trying to be all sexual or anything like that. And then a lot of people found it wholesome and cute because all she wanted was a hog, and you're being called my, uh, my, my little pog champ. Which I think it's really funny to think of. Which I and I think a lot of people fell in love with this meme because of that. The image video was uploaded on Twitter on November 14, 2020, and which it has over 600,000 views right now. And later on it was uploaded on YouTube on November 20th, 2020, and in total has over 4 million views and over 200,000 likes. However, there's a little problem with creating a meme. Once your meme becomes really popular, it's gonna get re reposted. Now most of the time the we upload on YouTube will credit the person that would make the meme. However, in this case with the YouTuber MV Perry, who has over 900,000 subscribers, he doesn't credit Perry at all. And when Perry called him out on Twitter and on his YouTube video, he basically made excuses, excuses that doesn't make any sense through Twitter and on DMs. And once he finally removed the video that included his artwork, he made an awful response video in which he just puts more excuse to the drama. Which, I mean, yeah, just... Just fucking apologize, man. I don't, I don't see the fucking problem. He deleted the apology video afterwards because it was awful and the drama was basically over at that point. Now you may think that, oh, Pear just made one meme and that's it, right? Well, he made another show animation which gained much a, a lot of traction. And then he made another. And then he made another. And then he made another. In which all these videos hit over 1 million views and it's impressive to say the least. Because I think Pear figured out what the YouTube ad algorithm is looking for, which is short but very watchable and repeatable and re repeatable videos to watch. Like, like I seriously watch these videos over and over again because of the animation, voice acting slash concept of the video, and how YouTube keeps pushing pushing it in, the, in my recommendation feed even after watching it. 
due to these re rewatchable videos, Per has been able to hit 100,000 subscribers and has over 10,000 10, views in less than two months, which is well deserved for him. And I hope the best wishes to him as he continues on with his animation career. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really enjoy making this and knowing a little bit more about Per Brother as I feel like he should get more recognition. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one.